Hello everyone, I am Nox Lupus. Today I'm going to show you the redstone house. I've been working on this for a few days, and if you don't know what a redstone house is, it's a house that uses redstone to perform unique and or useful um, functions. So, first thing we have is when you walk up to the door, step on a pressure plate, both doors open, and the lights come on for a second. You also can hear a firework go off, that's to tell everybody in the house that somebody has come in so that robbers can't break in. Now as you saw from the lights turning on, there are there is lighting to this whole house. These are the switches for the downstairs and start with the kitchen. That light turns on. Most of the lighting is hidden, although sometimes you will be able to see it. Um, this is a automatic smelter. Put raw food in there and then eventually you'll get some cooked food pop up over here. This is also a um, coffee maker. Um, because of the way the direction is and stuff, sometimes you have trouble with that. So I've been having a little trouble, but it worked for a little bit. You see I just got some cooked chicken that I put in there. Um, you put water on top and you get speed or coffee out. Just press the button. It's full now. Um, I have some pantry lighting. Pretty simple there. Um, we have a fridge, you get soup, and the light turns on, just like a real fridge. Um, you can see here, there's a secret, secret chest. I can put things in this chest, and they won't fall out. Um, but, there's also a key. And if you stay tuned, I'll show you why that's important. So, next one we have is we have the living room. Or foyer. Foyer. Um, we have a pop-up eating kitchen, goes up and down. Um, just some simple scene here, not too much. Then we have the TV room. Nice couch, lights up the stairwell as well. This is the lever, as if it was the remote, it'll turn on the TV. Just some random note blocks I put together. Um, this is a, like, dance floor, kind of makes a circular pattern. Keep that off, because it can lag up the area. Um, and then finally we have the music room for downstairs. It pops up some eat-in tables so you can have a nice view when it's daytime. And it has a piano, which plays a tune if you press the button. So that's it for downstairs. We'll move up to upstairs. Um, it's cooler looking on the, the room we were just at, the music room. But you can kind of see the, the redstone through, between layers. I'll show you that again at the when we get over there. So, again, just some simple lighting. I'm going to start with the bathroom. And here, you can see, um, so there's a sink, there's a toilet, and there's a shower. I'm going to start by turn shutting the door, which also turns on the light. The sink, pretty easily, that's, that's retractable. Um, just like a sink, just like a shower would, it catches things and puts it in, like, a drain. Just like a toilet would, it throws them out, never to be seen again. And, kind of like a sink would. It puts it down into a chest, so eventually you could get to it if you ever wanted it. I guess it'd be kind of like clogging up the, the pipes. Um, simple closet. Has more to it later, but I won't explain it right now. See, the light turns off. Next room, I like this um, closet design that I saw. Um, just, just a simple light, although there's a button here. And when you press it, it turns on a light on the other side of this wall. Where there's a kitchen, you can tell people to... Go get you food. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I put the spruce trees in as a border because I'm in like a super flat world. It was like the best thing I could think of. Um, so for right now you'll just have to use your imagination unless I decide to edit it into a nicer looking world. So this is the like um, balcony I guess. And just some seating, three side seating. And this is the, so first of all, these lights are day night lights. So at night they'll turn on, and at day they'll turn off. This switch just permanently turns them off, however. So if you're in here, again, pretty simple redstone. You could choose, uh, the person out there ordered a cookie, so you press the button, cookie, and it flies out towards them. Um, it flies out on this side of the bench. So, the last thing upstairs is the master bedroom. I step on these pressure plates, it'll momentarily turn on the lights, however, when I pull this lever, that's the permanent light switch. Um, so I'll pull the lever. There's a nice computer for playing your Minecraft. This is um, some of the redstone downstairs. 
This is the balcony over the foyer, over the music room. Uh, we'll start over here. So this is just, again, another simple night light. It kind of turns off automatically, like it's on a timer. This pressure plate, there's a secret room over here. Um, and this pressure plate turns on the light over there, so you can tell if somebody's sneaking around your room. As well as, you would think this would open the um, iron door, but it doesn't. Well, it does turn on that light, so if somebody's hiding over there, you can tell they're trying to get in. Um, so this is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite things here. I have these buttons, and then they armor me. They give me armor. Um, this one gives me diamond armor. Put that on. It's OP. This one gives me just a random assortment, so it chooses randomly out of some dispensers. And this one gives me my spy gear for when I want to go spying. All black leather. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Except, I forgot how you get into the secret room. Is if it's nighttime, you just click on it, and you get in this bed. That's a trick using stairs. Um, this is where the fireworks go off, so if you happen to be in here, you can see that somebody's coming in. How you would open that door is you would pull the lever, and then you would get kind of like halfway in, and you'd walk out. I'm not going to get out that way, though. Those are the lights for the bed and the doorway. Um, this is uh, the, the door, so if somebody really wanted to break in, they probably could find it pretty easy. But for just normal people walking around, they'd have to go in the closet and then shut the door. That'd be slightly weird. So, you're pretty safe there. You can get rid of that if you really don't like it. Next, we're going to go outside. So, I will show you what this looks like in the day, but I'm going to go through it at night first because there's a lot of sensors, day night sensors. Um, I hid some of the trees, just some on post, and there's some of the umbrellas over there. You probably could see there's a pool here. There are um, switches. Right now I have it on night sensor. So at night it turns on, at day it turns off. I can also turn it to manual. And I have it set to off. So it's off right now. And set to on. It'll turn back on. But I'm going to keep it on day night sensor. So that you can see during the day that it will turn off. Um, umbrella lighting turns off at the day. A nice diving board. Um, I call this hot tub level because it's kind of like at your head. Like you're in a hot tub. Some seating here. And this is like a little um, food shack. Somebody in here some lights. Could be like, oh, you want some pie? They press the button, they have some pie, and they toss it out to you, and you can eat it in the water, which is a little weird, but it's kind of cool. Um, oh yeah, I had to fix this right before I took the video, and there's some minor redstone problems, but those normally work with the rest of them. And I must forgot a torch. Oops. So, this is another thing using the stairs. There's a secret lever. And there's like a um, a lounge back here, pretty secret. Nobody, not many people are gonna find it. You have some chests, some armor, some cake, some lava. Um, pretty cool place, in my opinion. And when you want to get out, just pull the lever. And on the, other than the unfortunate thing that stairs get those like watery run looks, um, look, you nobody would be the wiser if you ch change the switch so it was like maybe outside the pool. Didn't, no one could, would ever be able to tell. Um, this is the like patio area, but it's kind of dark, so I can turn on the lights. Some um, storage there. Obviously, the, ah, obviously the seating. Some music. This grill actually has a furnace hidden behind the fire, so you could put like food in there. Um, I'm in 1.8.8, I believe. Um, when 1.9 comes out, I would like to switch this up with beats that should be in there, assuming that they don't change anything. Some just simple decorations. Um, the same over here. Then there's the chicken chicken coop, and these are barriers keeping the chickens on those slabs, and then that way when they lay eggs, it goes into these chests. A little more like a real life chicken coop. There's also the outside, unrealistically small, but just to represent that most chickens that have are caged like this would have an outside. And at night, the thing would close like that, and at day, it opens to let them free range. Again, night, day, and you see the lighting in the background changing. Um, so you can see those turned off. The lighting in the pool did indeed turn off. See how it's a night sensor? So, oh yeah, we have the secret. So we're going to go inside, and 
it's pretty hard to get. If I miss it, I'm just going to break it because you don't need to see me running around 20 times trying to get it. I have taken it a few times to get it before. Um, as you can see, normally things don't fall through. That's because this is an item sorter. So if I put this certain block, certain um, item with a name in it, then I can open a secret door. So I can go as fast as I can. Yeah, you could hear it there, but I think I need to make the signal longer. Um, just to get out, you press that button. This is more just a proof of concept. You could put this down here than like really all efficient. There's more bone meal in there. What you do here is you just put that in there, press the button, and like 50% of the time it grows it fully, and then you get um, a bunch of carrots back from any size. Start at 16. Now I have 35. And when you're done, pull the lever, wait until it stops, and then pull it again, and it's ready to go. This is the sugarcane farm. You just press the button, pops them off. Again, this isn't the most efficient. So in this case, they kind of get stuck on the side, but enough get into here to prove my point. Um, simple chicken cooker, that one spawned funny, and that's why he's laying eggs and getting stuck in there. Um, this one is a pumpkin farm. Press that button, and you use pistons to put some to pop the pumpkins off, which fall into the minecart, which fall into the hoppers, which fall into the chest. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. This is my first video, so if you liked, um, check out my channel. I may have put up more. If you had any comments on what I should or should not have done, then leave it below. Thanks for watching. Bye.